Exporting a video for YouTube using Adobe Media Encoder. Welcome! After viewing this lesson, you will be able to view file properties, select the appropriate format and preset for uploading a video to YouTube, and control the media encoder queue. In this example, you will convert a large AVI file to a streaming friendly H.264 file to upload to YouTube. If Media Encoder is not already running, you can launch it by clicking Start, All Programs, Adobe Production Premium CS 5.5, then Adobe Media Encoder CS 5.5. Notice that the Media Encoder window is divided into three main sections. Q, current encode, and watch folders. To select the video that you want to convert, click the plus sign button in the Q section. The open dialog box appears. Navigate to the desired file. To view details about this file, such as its frame rate and file size, right click the file and then click properties. In the dialog box that appears, the General tab reveals the file format and file size. Clicking the Details tab shows technical information such as frame size, data rate, and audio encoding information. Click Cancel to return to the Open dialog box. With the source file still selected, click Open. Click the first drop-down arrow from the left to select the output format you want. The format you choose depends on how you plan to share the converted video. For best results on YouTube, select H.264. Next, click the second drop-down arrow to select a preset for the chosen format. Because the video you're converting will be published to YouTube and it is a standard definition file with a 720 by 480 frame size, and a 16 to 9 widescreen aspect ratio, click YouTube Widescreen SD. Now, if your source file was high definition, you would choose the YouTube Widescreen HD preset for the best results. Next, assign a location and file name for the new H.264 file you're about to encode by clicking the directory path in the Output File column. Finally, click the Start Queue button. By default, the video preview plays as the exported video is encoded. Note the progress bar that displays the elapsed time and the time remaining. The actual time required to encode a file depends on the hardware specifications of your computer. If needed, Click the pause button to temporarily stop the encoding operation. Click again to resume the encoding. When finished, Media Encoder displays a green checkmark beside the new file. Note the .mp4 file extension beside the YouTube Ready file. And that's all there is to it. You can now upload the new file to your YouTube account in your web browser.